Hey Libras, welcome to the first half of November love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So let's go right into your meditative session for my newbies. Um, this is energy that I pick up in and around you, so you could be experiencing this. Someone within your environment could be experiencing this, or someone you're energetically attached to could be experiencing this, okay? So Libras, someone's very defensive. I'm picking up a lot of energy of mistrust, okay? A lot of energy of mistrust, um, a lot of questioning, also a lot of watching and analyzing, very like Page of Swords, Queen of Swords kind of energy here. And Libra, I gotta be honest, feels like it's you, okay? Feels like it's you. It could be someone else you're dealing with, because keep in mind, it can be reversed or vice versa, but it's just an energy of like judging someone's actions, um, excuse me, and inaction, actions and inaction, and just making quick judgment calls. Like, without having a conversation is really what it feels like and it feels like someone's acting out of defensiveness or ego like very much a need to like protect oneself like yeah you said this but maybe you're not really gonna do that like <laughs> you know what I mean like trying to make predictions based off of someone's actions or inactions without just without even talking about it like that's really how it feels that really it's really how it feels Libra um and I gotta be honest like we've all been there we've all been there maybe that's such a Scorpio in you we've all been there um but Libra, it might be worth it to have a conversation. And if someone's feeling this way about you, it might be worth it to maybe sit them down and be like, everything okay? Something you want to talk about? You know what I mean? Um, but definitely that's what I'm getting. A lot of mistrust, a lot of defensiveness, a lot of watching. A lot of watching, a lot of analyzing. Um, I do feel a little bit of resentment there too, a little bit of like seething energy. It doesn't feel very good. It doesn't feel very good. And Libras, if this is you, because like I said, it could be someone else. Um, but if this is you, just be careful because if you're already making judgment calls on someone, like they're going to do this to me, they're going to do that to me. You know what? I bet they're not doing this because they're probably out doing this. They said they're doing this, but you know what? They could be lying. Like if you're doing a lot of that, just be careful because you could actually manifest that, right? Because that's energy you're putting out there. So that energy could just come right back at, back at you. Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm trying to speak guys, but Mercury Retrograde has really got my tongue in a bind. Um, so just keep that in mind, Libra, you don't want to manifest that kind of energy into your life. So before m jumping to conclusions, you know, and Libra, we've had this energy for you before. I know we've had this energy for you before, like in recent past, like sometime in the last few weeks, we've definitely had this energy for you before. Um, yeah, just make sure that you have a conversation. Just sit down and have a conversation with someone. And keep in mind, if someone does do you wrong, that's on them and it has nothing to do with you, right? It has nothing to do with you. Let me get a little water. Sorry, guys. Mm. I also speak up on a couple other things. Um, I saw a lizard. And to me, that's about predictability. So more of that same energy that I was picking up with you already of like, you're trying to predict what someone's going to do. And it could be based off of what they've done before. By all means, that could be valid, right? But if it's someone that you're dealing with that's kind of new, um, you don't know them yet, <laughs> right? You don't know them yet. So just keep that in mind. Um, the next thing I thought was kind of funny, uh, I heard cupcake. <laughs> Maybe you're digging out some cupcakes. I'm getting a lot of food channelings for people lately when I start getting into these readings. Um, but it almost looks like it's like someone looks at someone like a cupcake. Like someone looks at someone like, oh, that's quite a yummy little treat. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Um, is this a man? Hold on. Feels like very masculine energy is feeling this way. Libra, it feels like a very masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a man, it could be a woman, but it feels like very masculine energy is looking at someone. Oh, come back, focus. We're at that time of day where the lighting is not so great. Sorry, guys. Um, where someone's looking at someone like they're kind of like a yummy little treat and it's almost like hands off my cupcake. Like that's kind of how it feels. Um, very protective. Oh, that is also the defensive energy that I'm feeling. Okay, so Libra, some of you guys can be doing the very masculine energy. And again, this could be you, um, where it's just like trying to trust that no one's going to touch the cupcake. Like, that's kind of how it feels. Anyway, Libra, let's just go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle here, okay? But like I said, you could just be digging on some cupcakes right now, okay? Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Actually, I'm sorry, guys. Let me get a little chapstick. I meant to do that beforehand. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> I know I'm usually really good at that, that. Okay. Any messages for Libra? So yeah, someone's trust issues have majorly been triggered for whatever reason or another here, okay? Any messages for Libra? Losing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, so Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Can we know the Pisces? I just saw a fish. Or I could have that in your chart. Hmm. 
Closing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, regarding love. Keep in mind, a cupcake doesn't have to be a person. It kind of felt like a person. It could be something precious to you, like something that is like just really special. Something really special it could be a project, could even be a job. It doesn't have to be a person. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sinus is going to bother me all day. Please report any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Is everybody eating a lot lately? I just saw peppermint stick. <laughs> Libra. I mean, you guys are Libra. You guys do like to indulge. So indulge away. Losing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Yeah, I keep seeing the seven of wands. I keep seeing that someone's really defensive here. I feel like someone's laying down the law. Oh, someone might be might be pushed to the point of not really having some okay. Mm -hmm. Say this grammatically correct. Someone is being pushed to the point where they're having such trust issues and they're so, so triggered that they actually might be laying down the law a little bit with somebody. Like you're gonna do this, you're not gonna do that. Hmm. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. This could be between a parent and a child, by the way, most definitely. I just heard lockdown. Okay, lockdown. <clears throat> Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Hold on, I got blood. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. No, I'm not taking those. That's a lot. That's a lot even for a pre-shuffle. Please bring forward any messages. I'm also seeing a computer, Libra. Um, you can just spend a lot of time with a computer, but I feel like there's something about your computer you should be careful of right now. I don't know why I'm getting that, but yeah, something about your computer you need to be cautious of. Just make sure antivirus software is up to date and all that stuff. Make sure everything's backed up. Queen of Cups. Can't Serene Energy, Kelsey Pisces, or Scorpio. Someone's really fixed. Okay, someone's really fixated on something. They can't stop thinking about something. I'm just getting borderline obsessed as well. Borderline obsessed as well. Yeah, again, and it's like this paranoid. And again, I'm not calling you paranoid, Libra. It could be someone else, okay? <laughs> but it's like someone's really, really fixated on something, focused on something or someone. They can't stop thinking about it. They can't stop trying to decipher it or the person. Like, what are they really up to? Are they really telling me the truth? Are they really doing this? Are they really doing that? Like, mm, very fixated. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Someone's having a bit of a standoff with texting. I don't know what that's about. A standoff with texting or communicating. Whoa. Whoa. Four of Cups in reverse. Can't Cancerian energy with the Knight of Cups. Everyone's getting the Four of Cups lately. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. Could also be water or fire with the world in reverse. Fixed energy. Could also be Aquarius, Leotor, Scorpio. Also Saturn, Charles, Capricorn. So this is what's really interesting to me. Someone over here is fixated on an issue or a person, can't stop thinking about it, can't stop thinking about it, obsessed, borderline obsessed. And then we have a card of rejection with a Knight of Cups moving away from that rejection to World in Reverse, which is like, I don't want this to end. I don't want this to end. This, this Knight could have been rejected by this Queen. This Knight could have been rejected by this Queen and they're like, you know what, no, you, you might have said no, but I don't really, I don't want this to end. I don't want this to end. This Knight could just be feeling rejected they could just be feeling rejected and not have received an actual rejection and like, hey, is everything cool? What's going on? Um, are you rejecting me? Are you ghosting me? Again, all these questions, Libra, all the questioning of people, right? It's like, mm, you could be mirroring with somebody. It could be, Jesus, it could be both of you doing this. It could be both of you doing this. <clears throat> For some, this queen's fantasizing about that. Wow. For some, this queen's fantasizing about that, like someone who they were dealing with and someone rejected somebody, fantasizing, 
fantasizing about them coming back and be like, no, 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 let's not end this, let's not end this, let's not end this. They could also be thinking if they should be doing this as well. A lot of water, guys. This is a lot of water energy. Please bring forward any messages of um, truth, healing, and love. I just heard emotion. Please, <laughs> that's why I, like, I was like, got all kafumbled. I heard emotion. It made me stop in my tracks. Ooh, yeah, the star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Someone's losing faith. Someone's really losing faith. I think someone's losing faith that someone's going to come in to stop the ending of something. And this Queen of Cups, yeah, that, yeah, that's totally how this feels. This Queen of Cups doesn't want something to end, and they're really hoping that someone will, like, come in and do that. But they're, they're losing faith. They're losing faith here. Oh, Libra, this is kind of sad. Wow. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy with the Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, Soulmate energy right there. Feels very mutual as well with the Five of Wands in reverse. Uh, Leo energy. Yeah, it's just more questions. It's more questions of will this happen? Will this not happen? Will we be together? Will we not be together? Will they come my way? Will they not come my way? Is this really over? It's like, yeah, it's like someone's questioning, like, is this really over? What are they really doing? What do they really want? Oh my God, Libra, you're going to give me a headache. You're going to give me a headache. But at the end of the day, there is a, um, a quick decline of faith happening here in the situation that it's actually going to come together, that there will be reconciliation. Someone's losing hope that this reconciliation will happen, but they can't stop asking themselves all of these freaking questions about this person. And I still feel that sense of watching. Wow. Okay. Libra, if this is you, if you're wondering, 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 you might just want to call them and just have a conversation and just be like, hey, can we just be honest? Is this, are, are we, are we, are we over? Are we not over? Are we turning into something? Are we not turning into something? And again, if it's the other person thinking this and you're doing just fine, then it's up to them to say something. Either way, this is someone not talking, not saying something, and they're going crazy about it. Okay. Going crazy about it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the reading. Those who are new to my 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 channel, my channel, <laughs> my channel are new to tarot. Please know these messages are very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them as you are doing this with the intention. If it's resonating, you already know who you are in the story. So if you need to switch the roles, that's fine. It still resonates. It still resonates. Um, not all messages can be for everybody. So if it's not your message, then that's totally fine. Please check out any other reader here on YouTube. Please don't try to make it fit either. Not all these messages can be for everybody, of course. And also, guys, we read energy, not gender. So don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And this is for the first half of November. But whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. Okay. Any other questions? Look below. All right, Libra, let's do this. Any messages for Libra regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Libra regarding love for the first half of November? I'm hearing choices, choices, choices. Mm. Someone's got a lot of choices here. Any messages for Libra? Yeah, someone's got a lot of options here. Someone does have a lot of options. Libras usually do have a lot of options. Any messages for Libra? You know, okay, thank you. I just got to download. Okay, so Libras, some of you have a lot of options. Keep in mind, this could be the person you're connecting with. Someone has a lot of options, but they really only have one person on their mind. They have a lot of options, but there's really only one person on their mind that they feel like they can't actually have. Any messages for Libra? Regarding love for the first half of November. Oh, God damn it, Libra. And someone's picking up on this, okay? So if, if you have a lot of options or a lot of suitors <coughs> or what have you, um, and there's one person in your mind that you want, but you feel like you can't have, there's someone else that you're seeing or someone within your environment that is picking up on that. Okay? So be aware. Okay? So just be aware of that. And whoever's acting defensive and paranoid, that could be the person who's picking up on it. Okay? 
the one who's got the trust issues that have been triggered. I, yeah, I'm like, the more I'm in that, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any messages for Libra regarding love for the first half of November? Or just for Leo? Any messages for Libra regarding love for the first half of November? I keep hearing Leo. It's making me crazy. Uh-huh. Any messages for Libra? <laughs> see here. Oh, God. So we have an Emperor in Reverse, Aries Energy, Taurus Energy, Divine Masculine Energy. For those who are new to my channel, because I know I got a lot of newbies and I haven't really gone over the basics in a while. So Emperor in Reverse. Emperor, first of all, is someone who's been through a lot. They're usually older, don't have to be. Um, they encompass all of the kings. They've been through a lot of shit. They've been through a lot of life lessons. They usually manage a lot or or who have to like manage people. They could also be an entrepreneur, CEO, judge, lawyer, that kind of energy. They could also be in the military, okay? Could also be a father figure or grandfather figure, patriarchal kind of a figure. Emperor in reverse, though, is someone who's really seeking a lot of control. They're more tyrannical when they're in reverse here, okay? This is someone who's having some trust issues. I can sense that. This emperor is having some trust issues. And then we have, ooh, the world in reverse, fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Charles, Capricorn. So the world in reverse came out again. Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. This emperor doesn't want something to end. This emperor is afraid some kind of foundation is coming to an end here permanently. Okay? They could be worried about divorce. They could be worried about a breakup. They could be worried about losing their home, losing their job. But they're really worried that a foundation is about to end. And they're trying to make sure that that doesn't happen. They don't want it to happen. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra? Oh! Oh! Ten of Swords, Gemini Energy, and there's the end. Ow. Oh. Any messages for Libra? Regarding love for the first half of November? I know it got real quiet, but it's like, that just hit hard. It's like, yeah, there's, there's the end. Any messages for Libra regarding love? Any message? Someone's having some back stuff. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm picking up on a lot of back stuff, Libra. So keep that in mind. If you've been dealing with some back injuries or you're very aware that like something's not right with your back, please pay attention to that. Please pay attention to that. Someone actually is getting back surgery. It, it's going to go fine. It's going to go fine. Recovery might take longer than expected, but it's going to go fine. Um, but yeah, I'm getting just a lot of back problems, a lot of back stuff. <clears throat> Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra regarding love for the first half of November? Wow. Libra, that's it? That's it? Four card reading, an emperor who feels like something is, is ending and it's out of their control. They're feeling really insecure about it. They're having some trust issues about it. And then boom, we get an ending over here. Okay. I overall energy, magician in reverse, mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me, for me as a reader, divine masculine energy. Underneath that, we do have the empress. Oh, fuck. I'll get there in a second. Sorry, guys. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. And there are the options. Seven of Cups. <laughs> Libra, be very careful here. Like I said, I was like, someone's got options and someone can feel it. And someone can feel it. Oh, God. Seven of Cups. Scorpionic energy. And then we have a page of cups here. Okay. So, Libras, let's have a little chit chat. The Semper can feel something's ending. They're kind of losing their shit over it a little bit. Whether they're showing that or not, they are. Internally, they are. Some are actually expressing this, okay? It's triggering their mistrust issues. They're wondering what's going on. A lot of questions are popping in their head. And then, boom, we have some kind of ending or even a betrayal here um, at the end of this. But overall, Magician in Reverse is a trickstery energy. It's a manipulative energy with the freaking Empress, okay? We now have an emperor and an empress here. These two could be married. You could be married to this person. Not necessarily. It's a true pair situation, okay? It's a true pair situation. This empress has options. No question. This empress has options. And with the page of cups, there's one, it's like I was saying before, it's like there's one in particular that this empress has in their mind, one in particular that they want. But it almost feels like something they can't have. Libra... Gemini was a telenovela. Are we going to have another telenovela? 
Are we? Is that what's going to happen here? Uh, let's go ahead and dive into this a little bit more here, okay? I, this Empress has definitely got a lot of options. I can feel it. Either people just look at them a lot or people flirt with them a lot. This Empress also spends a lot of time daydreaming as well. This Empress looking at this Empress like they're manipulative or that they're a trickster, that they can't be trusted, that they can't be trusted, they can't be trusted, they can't be trusted. Oh, damn. Okay, this one's going to take a lot out of me, I can already tell. All right, so first of all, let's take a look at this Emperor. Since we only have four cards out here, let's look at this Emperor and see what's going on with them. Um, You know, actually, yeah, I'm being drawn to the steampunk for this one. I haven't used this one in a while. Let's go with the Emperor in reverse for Libra. Regarding love, throw the Emperor in reverse for Libra. Regarding love for the first half of November. Well, now I'm like, maybe you got a reason to be paranoid. <laughs> Shit. Keep in mind, Emperor and Empress, it's not gender specific. It's just energy. This Emperor could be a woman. This Empress could be a man. <clears throat> throw the Emperor in reverse for Libra. Regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about this Emperor in reverse for Libra. Regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Emperor in reverse for Libra. Oh, wow. Page of Cups with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy. Wow, this is this emperor is just like wanting honesty. I'm getting just sheer honesty with this page of cups. Honesty about letting go of a burden, relieving stress. It's more of that questioning too of like, hey, can you just tell me the truth? Can you just tell me the truth of what's going on? What's really going on? What are you really doing? Who are you really talking to? That sort of energy. Can can you can you just like appease my anxiety here? Yeah, emperor, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. So double confirmation there. Okay. Yeah, this emperor wants this burden relieved of. The stress and feeling like a foundation's about to end that they don't want to end. They just want honesty. <clears throat> Tell me about the Emperor in reverse. For Libra, regarding love for the first half of November. Oh, Seven of Swords. Deception. Aquarian energy. Deception. This one's going to weigh heavy on my heart. I can already feel it. Tell me about the Emperor in reverse for Libra. Oh, that's too many. How about Emperor in reverse for Libra? <sighs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm stunned. The Seven of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Cups. Choosing one of the freaking cups. What did I say? Someone's got a lot of options. There's only one that's really in their head, but they feel like they can't have it. Seven of Cups in reverse. No more options with the Ace of Cups because the cup was chosen. Okay after deceit i'm speechless <laughs> I'm, I'm like i'm literally speechless i'm literally speechless this emperor's just like hey just be honest with me what's really going on what's really going on and it's like the truth the deceptive truth oh i've had options and i'm choosing one wow <clears throat> eight of swords in reverse gemini energy okay this is interesting because this is a card of release. A release and relief. Release and relief here. I just heard pain. Um, Intention. Having this conversation is releasing pain and tension between these two. Okay, so things haven't been right between these two for a while, apparently. So I'm about the Emperor in reverse for Libra. Ah, uh, so I about the Emperor in reverse. Oh, this is going to be painful. So I about the Emperor in reverse for Libra regarding love for the first half of November. Page of Swords in reverse, lies. Lies and miscommunication. Overall energy, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. This is my inappropriate lover card. Okay, take in the word inappropriate as it resonates with you. It's someone who isn't giving in an appropriate, healthy way when it comes to love. They're giving to a lot of people or not giving at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> mm. So to sum it up, 
lies are being re re lies are being shown lies are being talked about because there's been deception here because someone has options and someone's choosing one of those options and someone's just begging for the truth someone could someone could feel it they could feel some kind of foundation of theirs was slipping away out of their control and because of that they started getting they started feeling very mistrusting of the other person what's going on just tell me just tell me what's going on just be honest with me please just be honest with me and can you just like just just relieve the stress oh god why can't i pick up these cards sorry guys why like i just need this the stress of the unknown to be relieved from me just please relieve my worries just please just tell me the truth well the truth is i've been deceptive and i've chosen someone because i've had a lot of options here i haven't been an appropriate lover to you gender doesn't matter this is two people who, who are basically <clears throat> having a very honest conversation and all lies are on the table and one person has had a lot of options and now they're just choosing one away from this foundation and they're being seen as a manipulator and a trickster now i'm scared to do aquarius i mean gemini was really rough but this is like this is really rough this is really rough so like i said the semper could feel his foundation falling apart no need to go into that but then we get this ten of swords an ending and a betrayal we're gonna have a lot of oracle cards in this reading because this seems like there's some therapy needed okay um let's look at this ten of swords uh let's do gilded so i have the ten of swords someone's been lying for a long time libra this seems like it's a reading for people who are committed or if you know someone who's committed and something hasn't been right truth is coming out all the lies all the lies are coming out here Find that Ten of Swords for Libra regarding love for the first half of November. Wow, yep. Hierophant in reverse, touring energy. Breaking of commitments. And if these two people are married, there's definitely a divorce in the future. Wow. Find that Ten of Swords for Libra regarding love for the first half of November. Time about Ten of Swords. Time about Ten of Swords for Libra. Regarding love. For the first half of November. Time about Ten of Swords. Time about Ten of Swords for Libra. Yeah, someone's coming clean. Only because someone's asking. Okay. Three of Swords in Reverse, Libra Energy. This could be ending of third-party situations, but I like to look at it as healing too in a situation like this because this is definitely breaking a contract. And yeah, there's a hell of a lot of pain that's coming with this and some kind of ending and of course a betrayal, most definitely. A be I, like, I can't even believe this. Like I rarely get this combination. Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups in Reverse. Someone literally chose an option out of the many they had. They did it secretly. They did it in a deceptive way and they had to lie through their teeth about it until someone's like, hey, just tell me what's going on. I know something's going on. Oh, this is sad. Anyway, so breaking of a contract, breaking of a commitment, a marriage even for some, but there will be healing. There will be healing. And of course, for some of you, this is ending third party or multiple party situations. Time with the Ten of Swords for Libra. Regarding love for the first half of November. But like I said, I could feel that things weren't exactly right with this Emperor and Empress from the beginning. Not from the beginning. Oh, that's weird. I said it like that. For a while, because there's an Eight of Swords in reverse here coming in at the end of this conversation. A sense of relief of the tension and pain. Tell me about Ten of Swords. For Libra. Regarding love for the first half of November. The moon. Piscean energy could also be cancerian for me as a reader. Keep in mind, we do have the full moon in Taurus on the 12th, and we do have a Taurian major arcana card here, okay? Um, but the moon is secrets. The moon's secrets. I'm also getting a lot of emotion with this. A lot of emotion. A lot of emotion here. Wow. Nine of cups. Piscean energy. The truth is, this makes someone really fucking happy that this is over oh this is this is, i'm so sorry guys i know it's a little painful for some of you secretly 
someone's like jumping for joy that this is finally over. Hey, right, come back. Let's talk about the Ten of Swords. Now we have a Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. I don't think they're, I don't, I, yeah, they're not saying how happy they are about this. Probably for the best, probably for the best. So I'm sorry that some of you guys had to find that out. Um, but whoever's jumping for joy, they're, they're not expressing how happy they are. And I don't think they should. I don't think they should. Talking about Ten of Swords for Libra regarding love for the first half of November. Yeah, someone definitely has a Pisces moon placement because I just realized the card that came after the moon is also a Piscean card. So I have a ton of swords. Now we have two of cups in reverse. Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy here for me as a reader. Yeah, someone's really happy and they're not expressing it, but they're really happy that the connection is gone or a connection is dead, a connection's been severed. Overall energy, we do have the page of pentacles and then, yep, we've got the ace of wands and then the six of swords. Aquarian energy. Yeah, overall with this ending, someone's really freaking happy about it. Someone feels a sense of relief. Uh, someone's looking on a new direction here. Like, oh my God, where could I go next? I have like all the, I could, I could do whatever I want now. I can go after what I want. I've chosen that one option out of the many. I can go for that option now and I can move it, move ahead in peace. Someone could also have a moon and aqua placement as well. Um, wow. Yeah, it's like having this conversation allows this person to not only take that option, but to run with it, to run with it. And it honestly is a wish fulfillment for them. I know, Libra, this is fucking painful. For the person that's like, you know, going crazy, like knowing something's up, knowing something's up, and then you question the person that you're with and they tell you this, I know I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm sorry, like that sucks. So let's get some therapy, okay? <laughs> let's do some therapy here. Um, let's. Okay. I was like, what the hell was that? Let's do soul's journey. Any messages or takeaways regarding this spread for Libra? But like I said, someone did choose an option here. Someone has chosen an option. So whoever that option is that's been chosen, Libra, that could be you. If you're not committed and you've been dating someone, maybe you've been wondering if something's up with this person. You might be an option that they're choosing away from a commitment, okay? Just saying. Just saying. We got Clearly, we have seven of cups here a couple times. Like, there's a lot of options here for someone. So just keep that in mind. It's energy. That's how energy works. Um, it can be, you know, it can go either way. Any messages or takeaways for Libra regarding this spread? Any messages <clears throat> or takeaways for Libras regarding this spread? Any messages or takeaways for Libras regarding this spread? Any messages or takeaways for Libras? Success. I know there is no greater goal than to love. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Whatever this option is that was chosen, it is, it is, a, it is out of love. I will say that. It is out of love. And the honesty that's being had here is also honesty out of love and respect, even though I don't know how much respect you have for someone if you've been doing that. But hey, everyone's in their own situation. Not, not my place to judge. You know your situation better than anyone else. But this is basically saying, if you choose to love honestly and unconditionally, that's always going to lead you to where you need to be. Always. So if there was no more love here between this emperor and empress, then there was no more love there. There's, and when there's, you know, when something's run dry or something's run stagnant, it really can't grow. And if something can't grow, it can't really grow to abundance or success. So someone's choosing something where there is love, where they feel they'll be happiest, where they feel they'll be happiest, okay? And if you're in a situation where someone's feeling that way, then you get to be released too. You know, that's always positive. Then you get to be released too and you get to go and explore your options, right? That's always positive. Any other messages or takeaways regarding the spread for Libra? Any messages or takeaways regarding the spread for Libra? Oh, wow. I haven't seen this one come out ever for a reading. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. I know I can be honest 
that's exactly what I just got from that. I know I can be honest. I know I can tell the truth. I know I can do what it is I have to do, even if it's hard. Even if it's hard. Also, for the person that's getting left behind in this, this definitely applies to you. You can get through this. You can get over this. And, it, and I do feel for a lot of you, not for a lot of you, I'll say some, I'll say some. For some of you where you're getting left behind, some of you have lost love for this person a while ago a while ago so it's just about starting that new chapter and even if it's scary because it's something that's you haven't done in a long time maybe you haven't been alone in a long time even if it's scary you can definitely get through it you can definitely get through it and like i always say guys like i said if it's a situation where neither parties are happy or one party's really unhappy and it hasn't been working both of you should be released to go be where you're gonna be happy right right any other messages or takeaways regarding this spread? Life is too short. Trust me. Life is too short. Any messages or takeaways regarding this spread for Libras? Oh, oh loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So yes, as this relationship or commitment is not working out and two people are going their separate ways, loneliness can creep in. I'm also saying that for some, I picked this up in the Gemini reading too, actually, that for some... When you're in a relationship where it's not working out or it's just like it's really difficult or you're just not happy, sometimes you can feel really alone within that relationship. And I was picking that up in the Gemini reading. So if you're dealing with a Gemini or have that in your chart, you might want to check out that reading. Um, but the truth of it is, you don't ever really have to be alone. Your ancestors are with you. Your guides are with you. And also, you are your own best company. Like, people forget that. You are your own best company. No, no one knows you better than yourself. And also, no one keeps better company for you than you really, because you are very accepting of yourself. And if you're not accepting of yourself, then there's some self-love work that has to be done there, right? So also know that. On the bottom, oh, I guess that's appropriate. We have death. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh my, death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings, and they are. They are. When a chapter closes, a new one gets to open, and all kinds of new shit gets to happen. And that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting. And like I said, this clearly is a relationship where two people were not on the same page and it wasn't working out for whatever reason or another. Someone stepped out. It happens, right? It happens. But if as it comes to an end, it allows for so many new opportunities to come in, including happiness and love and success, right? And that's always beautiful. So that's all. Those are good takeaways. Let me get some water and then we'll pull some from the spirit. We'll pull from the spirit animal deck. Jesus. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Any advice for Libra? <clears throat> Any advice for Libra regarding this spread? 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 One more. Any advice for Libra regarding this spread? Oh, that was very quick. Oh, very nice. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. 67 breaking down to a four, learn from this. Learn from this experience, take it with you, put it, use it as a new tool in your toolbox and just keep it moving towards your new stability, okay? You might be losing stability with this person, no matter who you are, you're losing something with this person, you know, whether this is the person that stepped out on you or you're the one who stepped out on this person, stability is being lost, but new stability is going to come in and be attained here, okay? So just take this as a lesson learned and put it as a tool in your toolbox. <clears throat> Someone has also learned a lot about themselves through this is also what I'm getting. Someone's learned a lot about what they actually need in a relationship. Oh, interesting. Someone's learned a lot about what they need in relationships because of being with this person. I can't tell if that's the person who stepped out or if that's the person that is getting stepped out on. It could even be both. Honestly, it could even be both. But a lot was learned about what someone needs in a relationship and a partner because of it, which is a positive. That's a positive. Okay. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Oh, oh, okay, 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 I'll take it. Uh, wow. 
Oh, I did not expect that. Okay. Libras, just know this is happening for the better. No matter which side of the table you're on, it's happening for the better. Look at this. White Raven Spirit, Trust in Magic, 66, a master number. B Spirit, Sweet Results, Await, Energy of Seven. So being on your path and heading in the right direction. Rabbit Spirit, now is a lucky time with a, with a stability foundation. This is the new stability that's going to be had is what I'm getting. So you've learned from this one, no matter which side of the table you're on, You've learned from this one that's being left behind, and you're using that to push ahead into the next one, and the next one looks pretty damn sweet. Again, no matter which side of the table you're on, looks pretty damn sweet here, okay? Um, this is a card of abundance and blessings and gifts, fertility and abundance, and also tr divine intervention as well. This, whatever this new stability is that's being had, it's stable, it's abundant, it's a lot of joy, it's a lot of love, and a lot of luck. A lot of luck, and it's also supported by spirit, supported by the universe. Wow. I, everything happens for a reason, guys. Everything happens for a reason. I'm not condoning what, what the person, the person who stepped out, I'm not condoning what they did. Not at all. But we all have to move on. Life keeps it go. Life, keep, life keeps going. Life keeps going. We all got to keep moving on at some point or another. Not every relationship is meant to last. Some are just building blocks to get to that amazing relationship down the line, right? Any advice for my Libras? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. I think that's good advice. I think it's really good advice. I'll tell you guys in a second. Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? All right, so now we have Brown Bear Spirit. Take time out. Energy of nine. This is my Hermit card in this deck. So this is literally taking a pause. Taking a pause to reflect, to gather your thoughts, to recover, okay? I feel like before this conversation takes place, the person who's been stepping out, I think you have to do a lot of reflection, okay? I think you got to do a lot of reflecting here. You may or may not be watching, but you got to reflect on what you want and what's best for you. And the course of action you need you need to take to do right by you and everyone else involved in order to realize, hey, you know, maybe I shouldn't be doing this to this person. If I'm really not happy in this, maybe I shouldn't be doing this shit. Maybe I need to like be going elsewhere, right? And then take that as a lesson learned. But I do also feel that between taking that option, that option that's been chosen out of the many, <laughs> apparently out of the many, there needs to be a, a break. A break of just reflection and alone time and singlehood before going from this foundation to this wow wow delicious one okay sorry it just is what it is i'm just the messenger okay to that delicious one take a break in between take a break in between a good break to be alone and again reflect and recover overall we have lizard spirit dream the world into being 38 breaking down to an 11 so it's funny i was getting <laughs> that's so weird i actually forgot there was a lizard um, card in this deck lizard this is a manifestation energy, okay? And this is about being methodical in your manifestation. Manifestations, you can go about it in many different ways, but at the end of the day, you have to put work into it. You actually have to plan out steps and take actual physical steps towards making something happen. This is that energy, okay? This is screaming at the person who's been stepping out on the person they're committed with. Like, hey, you know what you really want, What's going to make you really happy? You know, you're not happy here. What steps, do you have to, what steps do you have to take to get to where you're happiest? That's that energy here, okay? Wow, underneath that, you got another manifestation energy. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. 56 breaking down to an 11. This is like visualization manifestation. This is the work. So not only do you have to like think about it, visualize it, put the energy out there, but also take the physical steps that are required to make it happen. And then we have, wow. Sorry, I just had to. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. So a change in the environment, a change in your life. Obviously, there's a hell of a lot of big change, right? Ending a big cycle to go into a whole another big one. But for me as a reader, for those who have been, me, been with me for a while, no. This means there's a very significant love interest involved in this. Definitely involved in this manifestation, okay? Libras, you're gonna be good. I promise, okay? Like I said, everything happens for a reason. Every relationship that we have, friend, friend, love, or otherwise, is all to teach us something and be building blocks for other relationships moving forward, okay? For both parties involved, all parties involved, all right? 
So I wish you guys the best and I hope this was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Vimeo, which the partner readings will be up by the end of the week. And don't forget to check out Instagram as well. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great night. Namaste.